Hey everybody, uh, my name is Lars Sorensen and I'm from the Computer Science Department at Rutgers University. And usually on Rutgers Day, what we would do is we have a computer lab on campus, Bush Campus, called the Cave. And we would fill the Cave with faculty and student clubs and a whole bunch of people and on Rutgers Day, people would come by the cave and they'd get to speak to faculty and ask them questions and they'd get to meet the students and talk about clubs and we put out a bunch of academic posters and we do a bunch of things and we're not able to do it this year because of COVID-19 and all the trouble we're having in the world. So when the people from Rutgers Day reached out to computer science and said, hey, is there anything you can do? We thought we were caught between a rock and a hard place because we don't really do a demonstration. We don't really do something that you could repeat in a video. So what I thought I would do is two things. I blew the dust off my GoPro and I ran over to campus today. And I did it real quick because I, I don't want to make it boring, but really quickly, three, four minutes, I ran through the computer lab and I wanted to show people some different things about the computer lab because our lab isn't like a computer lab when you think of. When you think of the term computer lab, and actually I have some examples up there, if you Google computer lab, that's what you see. And if you look at those pictures for a while, you start to think to yourself, what's missing? Well, what's missing is people. And around 10 years ago, a few people in computer science started to realize that a lot of people weren't using our labs anymore. And it was because everybody had laptops, everybody had phones, everybody had devices at home so they could get their homework assignments and go home and do their coursework, right? Java programming language was free. You could get the Eclipse Editor for free, put it on your laptop. There, You had no reason to go to the lab. So a group of people got together and we decided we were going to try to make our labs a place that would be fun to go to again. When we were students, most of us in the 80s, we, were, we had to go to the computer lab because you had to use the mainframe computer terminals to do your work and this and that. But there were some good byproducts to that because you got to know all your classmates, you did projects together, you spoke about the topics together. It turned into what we would call a community of practice, and you would gain expertise. And it was a good, there were very good byproducts about hanging out at the lab. So we wanted to do that. So about 10 years ago, we ripped out our labs and we created something we called the CAVE, the Collaborative Academic Versatile Environment. And what we did was we made it more like a collaborative workspace. We have some computers in there, but most students have their own now. They have laptops, they have phones, they have tablets. We give them some devices. We're computer science. We want students using Linux computers. But for the most part, we just provide a room with a lot of space to collaborate and a lot of space to work in. So that kind of makes us a different kind of computer lab, which is why on Rutgers Day we want people to come and see it. We want them to talk to some of the talk to faculty and talk to the student groups about some of the programs we do and different things like that. So we're not going to be able to do that this year. But what I am going to do is in the next three or four minutes, I grabbed my GoPro and I ran over to Bush and I walked around the lab for about three or four minutes talking about what we do in the lab and some of the features of the room. Then when we come back after that, I'm going to give you a link to what's called the virtual cave while we're having all these problems with the pandemic, Rutgers University has had to do a lot of things online remotely. We've moved all of our instruction to remote. We're also advising remotely. And what I wanted to do was run my lab remotely because one of our main features is that students can talk to their classmates and get tutoring and get help with their coursework and do things like that. So during the week, I have a virtual cave and I'm going to give you the URL for that. So if you'd like to, you can go in and speak to one of my students. Or if you catch them later in the day, you can speak to more than one of my students because I do double shifting later on in the days. So we're going to have that be the feature 
we're going to, I'm going to do this quick walkthrough right now. And then after we do that, if you'd like to, you can go talk to the tutors and you can go talk to the students. They're the ones that would be in the physical cave if it weren't for all the trouble we're having. And a lot of times on Rutgers Day, what's going on is that high school age students are coming through with their parents to give Rutgers a look-see to see what things are about. So if you're in that boat and you'd like to ask some questions about a student that's currently going through the computer science curriculum at Rutgers, well, you'll have your chance to do that. So let's take a look at the labs. And when we get back, I'll give you the URLs so that you can pop in and say hi to the students if you'd like to. Okay? All right. Let's get going and take a look at the labs. All right? Wait. Ooh. All right. Here we are in the... Hill Center on Bush Campus. Uh, this is a small connection from the larger Hill Center buildings to what we call the Hill Center Annex. And it's here that the instructional labs for the computer science department are. Let's see right there. So let's go down this hall. And you can see this hall has a bunch of classroom sized rooms. These are the instructional labs for the computer science department. And if you come here pretty much to the middle of the hall, you can see here's the cave. So as you can see, it's not your average computer lab. We do have Linux computers for the students to use, but it's more about providing a space for them to use their own gear and have tables and a lot of power and a lot of wireless um, you can see over here is where the iLab assistant on duty would sit and you can see if we were live and in person my iLab assistants would wear their lanyard so the students could know who the tutor on duty was. Uh, we have a little section over here where students can either watch TV or play games. We have a whole bunch of different game systems for them to use. We do have a couple of bookshelves in the room so that students can use the books we have most of the time we have books for most of the classes that we offer so the students can use that uh, I do put pictures of famous computer science I guess you'd say luminaries so the students can figure out who they are and ask what they're about and learn that way um, over here we back in 2011 we knocked a hole in the wall so we could expand the cave into two rooms. And you'll notice one thing about this side of the room is that there's no computers at all. There's just space. It's the conference room side or the 250 side of the cave. And then we have a bunch of games. Students have game nights and play games a lot. And this is more space for students to do collaborative work. Another bookcase over there. Computer science books lined up for people to use. So it's more of a collaborative space than anything else for the students to come and hang out, do projects together, have events, and do things along those lines. Computer labs have are slowly but surely moving away from that 20 computers all facing forward didactic setup and are starting to become more collaborative. So if Rutgers Day were live and in person, we would have the student clubs in here, we would have faculty in here, and people would come by and we'd tell them about the program. We'd, you know, tell them about the clubs, explain what we do, how we do it. So it's less of people think computer science and they're going to go into a room with a bunch of blinking lights and a bunch of machines and a bunch of other things. And it's not the case. It's a collaborative lab here where the students can sit down with their own gear and do their homework with their peers, with people they can ask questions and get things done. So this is the cave. Um, it's been going for 10 years now and it's pretty much the de facto headquarters for undergraduate computer science here at Rutgers. All right, I'm gonna get out. All right, now we're back. Um, so that was the cave. You got to see the inside of it a little bit. It's a shame if it were regular Rutgers Day, you'd be able to come inside and talk with everybody and we could talk about the program and do some other things. Um, still, if you're interested in asking questions, if you'd like to speak to a student who's in the computer science program, 
you see that URL right there underneath Virtual Cave. That is the URL that will, through your browser, through a Zoom meeting, I don't know if you've heard about Zoom bombing or not, you won't be Zoom bombing. The room is there so people can stop in and talk to the tutors. And you can go and on your screen actually have a, a remote session with one of the tutors and ask them questions. Just say, hey, I watched the video about Rutgers Day and about the cave, and I'd like to ask some questions about computer science at Rutgers. And my kids will be glad to talk to you, glad to give you all the real information. Okay? Um, also below that is the URL for the department. If you go there, you'll get tons of information about the faculty, faculty interests, um, the different courses we have for both undergraduate and graduate degrees, tons of information. Okay? Again, if you have any questions or there's anything you need to know about Rutgers Computer Science, you can also email me. I'm an advisor for the department. My email address is biglars at cs.ruckers.edu. Okay? Sorry you couldn't come and see us live and in person. Please stay safe, stay calm. We're all going to get through this. Everything's going to be normal again soon, and we're going to be able to enjoy campus, and we're going to be able to enjoy the labs, and we're going to be able to enjoy seeing each other again. All right? All right, then you be good. I'm out of here. Have a good day. Bye.